hello everyone today we are going to discuss about the fourth type of opto electronic absorption process which is absorption involving impurities so from the heading we can understand that the energy of the photon will be absorbed due to the impurities or by the impurities and excitations will take place so let us study in detail about absorption due to impurities so the absorption process involving the impurities often take place in semiconductors because we have already studied that no semiconductor can be 100% pure even if it is a n type semiconductor then there exists some type of acceptor impurities or if it is a p type semiconductor then also there will be some amount of donor impurities or as such if you consider elemental semiconductors also some defects or impurities will be present that's why this absorption process is very relevant so this type and this degree of absorption mainly depends on the type of impurities present and also on its contribution means its concentration if the impurity concentration is more and more then absorption is going on increasing that's why we need to consider different types of semiconductors where different types of impurities will be present so first let us consider for a pure n type semiconductor for that we know that if you just draw the band diagram or energy level diagram we have valence band at lower energy and conduction band at higher energy and when we add donor impurities that is pentavalent impurities into the intrinsic semiconductor we get n type semiconductor and the donor level will lie just below the conduction band which is denoted with energy e d here when the photon is incident over this type of semiconductor they absorb the energy that is the donor electron absorbs the energy from the photon and the electrons are excited or make transition to the higher level in the impurity level itself or even it can ionize into the conduction band so there are two possibilities the impurities which are the donor impurities present at level ed they can just make transition to higher level within the impurity level itself that is something like a intra band transition or even there may be inter band that is the electron present in the donor level can ionize into the conduction band so two possibilities can take place and the transition to higher impurity levels appear as sharp lines in absorption spectrum so when there is a sharp line when you draw the absorption spectrum that is the graph of absorption coefficient as a function of energy then due to this type of absorption process we get a sharp line then coming to the next type of transition due to impurities let us consider a pure p type semiconductor and it means that if you consider the energy level diagram due to the trivalent impurities added we will have a acceptor level which is just above the valence band and here transition will take place from valence band to the neutral acceptor after absorbing the energy from the photon so the electron which is present in the valence band will absorb the energy from the incident photon and it will just ionize or make transition to the neutral acceptor where acceptor are in need of electrons so these electrons are going to excite to ea so this is second type of absorption process so if you consider the absorption spectrum that is the graph of absorption coefficient as 
a function of energy that is photon energy h nu for boron doped silicon sample the spectrum is something like this so here if there are shallow impurities then the absorption lines associated with the donors as well as acceptor fall in far infrared region so this is about the application part so as they are falling in far infrared region because their energy which is involved is very small of the range 0.01 electron volt so based on that the corresponding region of the spectrum is infrared region especially far infrared region so in such a process it is going to serve in principle as the basis for detectors in the rather difficult region of the spectrum which is far infrared region so this is the use of this type of absorption process and the spectrum may also serve as a diagnostic technique for determining the type of impurity present so whenever there is a different type of impurity there may be some impurities of boron present within a silicon semiconductor then for such case what might happen in the absorption spectrum you will have a curve or a peak corresponding to that element so if you just understand about that peak using the literature easily we can say which impurity is present in the given sample so whatever we have discussed in first type and second type we have just set it as a pure n type or p type or as such you can just take an intrinsic in semiconductor and there are some acceptor impurities and some donor impurities on that base also we can explain this type of transition then as we have discussed during our previous classes no semiconductor is 100% pure so even if there is a n type semiconductor there will be some amount of acceptor present and even if there are there is a p type semiconductor there will be some amount of donors present in it that's why we have generally the semiconductor with both the levels that is the acceptor level as well as donor level whereas based on the concentration of impurity we just say that one is a majority carrier and another one is a minority carrier so here the transition may take place in two ways that is when a photon is incident on a semiconductor the electron will excite from the valence band to the donor level or as from acceptor level to the conduction band so these two possibilities are also there that is electron excitation from valence band to donor level so the energy of the photon will be absorbed by the electron which is present in the valence band and it will absorb that much amount of energy so that it can traverse or get transited to the donor level with energy ed or else there is another chance that the electron which is already excited or which is present in the acceptor level it may absorb the energy from the photon and excite or transit to the conduction band and if you just compare the energy required for this type of transition we say that this absorption process is close to fundamental absorption process because in fundamental absorption process we require a energy which is equal or greater than energy gap and under this condition we observe that the energy required is little bit lesser than the energy required for fundamental absorption it may be little bit more also 
based on the higher levels of conduction band or valence band. So, we generally say that this process is close to fundamental absorption process. Then coming to the next type of absorption process where the absorption involving transition from an ionized acceptor to an ionized donor take place. So again no semiconductor is pure so we denote both acceptor level as well as donor level in the band diagram. So when a photon is incident over a semiconductor there is another probability of transition that is the ionized acceptor will be transited to the ionized donor. So when an electron is present in the valence band it is already excited to or ionized to the acceptor level and let us say the donor atom or electron is already excited to conduction band and in such case the ionized acceptor will be transited to the ionized donor when a photon is incident over a semiconductor and the energy of photon which is responsible for this type of transition is equal to h nu which is equals to eg minus ed minus ea so that is nothing but the energy of that arrow mark what we are observing so this is totally eg if you remove this mine uh, ed and ea we get this h nu which is the energy of photon required for absorption process which we have seen now that is from ionized acceptor to the ionized donor then coming to its use so this type of absorption leads to a discrete structure in the absorption curve but many a times it is difficult to resolve because the energies are almost comparable with respect to the fundamental absorption and because of these impurities present there will be some type of complex or complexity in determination of fundamental edge or near the fundamental edge and the impurities may also affect absorption spectrum in other indirect ways also. So what it might be? We have already studied about the exciton absorption process where an exciton is a bound state of electron and the hole. So because of the impurities the trapping of exciton will take place that is the impurity traps an electron. So when an impurity traps an electron the impurity gets charge of the electron so it is charged now and because of its negative charge it attracts the hole through the coulomb force means coulomb force acts only when there are opposite charges so impurities with the electron is negatively charged and it attracts a hole which is positively charged so those hole and electron will be trapped by the impurity and the spectrum of this trapped exciton is different from that of a free exciton because of the interaction of impurity. So what happens when there is an involvement of impurity? When you consider the exciton absorption spectrum, we observe a spike near the fundamental edge and if there are impurities involved and trapping of exciton takes place, then the spike its width will broaden. That is, it won't be that sharp but its width is going to increase based on the number of impurities. So this is about the fourth type of opto electronic absorption process which is the absorption due to impurities. So this is for today's class.
थैंक यू